Julie Nightlinger, are you with us? Yes. Hi, good, Julie. How are good you? Good morning. Good. How are you? Well, we are very concerned, very, very concerned and uh, disheartened by your post on Facebook. Yeah. Can you please start from the beginning and give our listeners context here? What happened and when? Well, it happened Tuesday night. He was outside grazing grass, and I was with my other horses. He was tied up, so we couldn't go that far. He just It's the last of the season, so you want him to get good grass. And I came inside. I fed my child, and I went back outside, and his leg was up in the air, and it was bleeding. Oh. And at first I thought it was a bite from a coyote, or he got stuck on something, right. or something happened. And so I brought him inside. I cleaned him up. I wrapped it up. And I was like, all right, well, we'll clean it. We'll see how it heals. If it doesn't, we'll call the vet. And it just ended up getting worse. And I called the vet. And she she shaved off all the hair. And we saw another wound on the other side of his hoof so that it would go through. Oh, no. And so we took x-rays. And we tried to think about what it could be. We went back to the area, saw, see if there was a metal rod that would go through it or anything he could get hurt on. And... It ended up just being a gunshot. Now, uh, is 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 your horse in pain? Is he suffering? He is. Right now he is. I mean, I have pain medication that I'm giving to him. And he is wrapped up, and he has a big, fluffy bed of hay that he can lay on. Is he able to stand? No. He can stand on three legs for a little while, but the most of the part, he's laying down. He can't put the pressure on that leg at all? No. Oh, we are so. The vet, so... so what we're what the vet's saying is, we're going to give him a little bit of hope. We're going to try anything for him, and she's going to talk to the, her professors and everything. But either if we can get him a prosthetic leg, because he's just a miniature, he's not that big, and he's so little that maybe that is, we can do that for him, or because a horse can't live on three legs, so that would just be wrong for him. Sure, being that pain his whole life, but. We want to see what we can do for him because he is a—he's like a family member. He's so sweet, and he was a rescue. He's only two, and he has much more to live. How did you ever get him? I rescued him. He came from a farm of him. Is him and his mom came from a farm. He was very um, skinny and very malnourished. And I took him home. He actually stayed inside my home. We fed him up, and then. We moved out to Krishna, and he came with us. This is uh, such sad news. This happened Tuesday. Yes. Any uh, hope that perhaps surgeons can uh, help? Well, those? that's what we're trying to figure out, but that's obviously it's going to be thousands of dollars. But we're going to try. We're trying to set up a campaign for him, and hopefully we can raise enough money to get the proper care he needs. Where are folks sending money to help you out with this? We have a GoFundMe account. It's called Saving Max. Saving Max. Yes. Okay. Uh, obviously, it's going to be very costly. Either way, whether it's a surgery or whether it's a prosthetic leg, do you feel in your heart that this was malintent? Was there something here that tells you? What does your gut tell you about all of this, Julie? I don't... I... I'm not too sure. I don't know who could hurt a little pony like that because he's, if you could see him, he's so little and so fluffy and like if you would go up to him, he would go up to you first to see if you had carrots for him. So I don't know if it was a mistake, if it was a kid not knowing what to do or I don't know. There is a lot of hunting behind the house and we are, we did call the environmental police and they are coming down. Now, are hunters behind the house at a safe distance so that, I mean, if they hit Max, what's to say they wouldn't hit a human being just out there playing? This exactly. Is... That's why I have the environment to police coming down just to make sure everything's okay. Because we have kids here. I have a newborn baby. Oh, oh congratulations. God. Yes, absolutely. Yes, seven months. Oh, wow. Yes, and my neighbors have three little girls, and... They're always playing outside, and my other neighbors are always outside. We have big horses that we tend to at night, early in the morning. So, 
Your uh, fiance has a sense that this that there was something more to this than just a, an accident. Do you feel that uh, perhaps this was something intentional or? Ne- I don't know. I think he's thinking as if it was some like a kid and he didn't know what he was doing or. I think he was just really hurt by it. Yeah, of course. As any animal lover, and clearly yeah. you and your fiancé are both animal lovers. Yes. I mean, as a Facebook is of us concerned. But um, I think that he mentioned something about someone coming onto your property. Oh, yes. To... It's exactly right on the property. So How, how do you, uh, you f- do you think that really happened, that somebody actually came onto your property? And, and... He's so little. I don't, I don't know. You'd have to really... See him, you know. Mm-hmm. This is uh, disconcerting because you know to have this happening around your home and a cushion it. You're saying it's a beautiful area of a cushion. It is. It's, it's great. And uh, this has never happened. Anything like this has never happened before, right? With no. hunters or uh, any kind of problems with uh, hunters out there, right? No, not that we know of. Yep. So where does it go from here, Julie? Where, what are you going to do from here on? Well, the environmental police is coming, and I just want to get the hunting kind of regulated a little bit. And I don't want anybody, I want everybody to be extra safe with their animals. Don't leave them out of your sight, you know? Yeah. Get, mm-hmm. get, get orange paint for your horses. Get orange halters. Get orange vests for your dogs if they're going to be running loose. Wow, yeah, to uh, to just go to that extent means that uh, we we have, gosh, you know, nobody had to do that in the past. Now we have to put red vests on our animals. Wow. I know, but I would rather be safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Agreed. Because going through this is like it's horrible. You wouldn't wish us your worst enemy, I'm sure. No, not at all. So tell us, how are you? What are you going through? To give us a sense of emotionally, where are you at, Julie? I mean, I have hope for that. We're giving, I'm giving him the best care. He has, he has warm oatmeal at night. He has a warm bed. He has clean bandages, and he has really good medication that he's on right now. Mm-hmm. It does, it, we, we're not going to go no more until he goes to intensive care, until they do the surgery, until they find things. But yes. And this is gonna, scheduled we're for when? not give up hope on him because I don't feel in my heart that this is it for him. Yes, absolutely. Julie, when are you taking Max to see the vet next? Wednesday. Okay. We the are... vet called me up with the x-rays today, and then that's how we found out more about today. But Wednesday is going to be the, all the decision-making. Is okay. Max holding out okay? Do you, do you sense that uh, he's comfortable? Give us a sense of where he he's is still, health-wise. He bickered at me this morning when I went out there, So, and he always does that, and he was in and in his special spot that he is. So his behavior hasn't changed down. much? No, I mean, it's gotten better. So that is a great thing. Yep. Yeah, it is. That is a great thing. He's still his normal self. Good. He has a lot of personality for a little horse. So. Oh, wow. Is there anything I didn't ask you that you want our listeners to know about, Max, to know about what you're going through to help you? Well, the support I've already got was great. People sharing sharing the Facebook post. I didn't even realize it would get that many shares when we were posting it. I think you had over 350 the last I checked. Just yeah. shares alone. I ha- I woke up this morning and I had about like 20 messages. And it was just all support and I and I love all those good vibes that I'm getting and that's going to help heal Max too and all the prayers. It's just great. And uh, all of those prayers and that love and those radio hugs also come from all of us here at That's WBSM and, and Fun 107. I just want you to know that, Julie, okay? Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, hon. We're going to be here with you, for you, and anything we can do, count on us. Would you do Great. that? Yes, I will. All right, sweetheart. We will be in touch. All right. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye now.